Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mario and in this video we're going to talk about the importance of subdivisions. So adding divisions to our models. So uh, here what you see on the screen are going to be two examples where we would like to add more divisions to our objects. So first example is going to be uh, where we're trying to maintain the corner and second example is going to be where we're trying to maintain the curvature. So both methods are going to be important and in both methods we're going to use a similar approach where we're basically adding the divisions and making sure that as we're adding the divisions that we are maintaining the even polygon uh, structure. So just quickly demonstrate. So let's say that in this case we are trying to get as close as possible to this shape right here and then once we preview this we are just trying to now with multicat add as many divisions as we can till we get the corner that we need. So let's say that this is going to be uh, enough of a sharpness this might be let's say a little bit too sharp and this might be a little bit too soft so this is kind of going to be that golden middle for the corner that we need uh, now i understand that there's going to be a question now why do we need to add even more topology to this if this is already holding the corner enough and uh yeah in general why do we even need to now have more topology than that now here's the deal, uh, it's all about the habit building and for what purpose are you using the, the object. So if you plan to actually use this for detailing, if you plan to use it for, let's say, object as something that is going to be going deeper into development, then the problem is whatever you're trying to do here, you just simply won't have enough topology. And even if you try now to add, let's say, more topology with uh, smoothening uh, by bringing it into ZBrush, what happens is that you're going to have an area that is extremely dense, an area that it's, let's say, less dense on the same mesh. So ideally, what we're looking for is the topology that is even out all across the surface. So for that reason, we now need to, whenever we have an imbalance mesh, we need to balance it out. And how do we know till where do we balance it? We go with the first known thing that we actually know, and that is the corner. So the corner right here, shows us this is the polygon that we are looking for because the polygons here have all even sized edges and that means that this polygon is going to be a guide for every other polygon on our surface so that means we need to balance it till this point until all of the polygons that are matching the curvature that we need have the same size and this is what we would call a balance mesh because now if we let's say decide to smooth it even further and further and further we can actually always get that clean topology and we can utilize it to create, let's say, as tiny details as we need. And even if we bring this into ZBrush, if we add more topology or more density, more resolution, it's still going to hold properly as actually it should. So this is going to be kind of like that first approach where we are maintaining the corner and just trying to maintain that corner as sharp or as smooth as we want to. Uh, the second way is going to be to maintain the curvature. So the curvature is going to be this. And in this case, we are not going to add edges manually. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use this operation right here called smooth. So in Blender or Cinema 4D, this is going to be, I think, a subdivision surface modifier. So you just need to collapse that one. And yeah, so now you just go into the divisions, depending on how much divisions uh, you need. But yeah, this is now the second way how we're going to add divisions. So one way to add division is going to be to maintain a corner. Second way to add divisions is going to be to maintain the curvature. All right, so now the second question is going to be, how do we know uh, to which level or to which subdivision level or to which density we need to go, when it's too dense or when it's not dense enough? So in the first case, we noticed that density is going to be dictated by the corner itself. So if the corner is, let's say, this level of smoothness, and this is the polygon around that corner, then we know that this is, let's say, the density we need. If, let's say, we would need to have a smoother corner, in that case, all of these edges that do not contribute to anything can leave. So in so again, another kind of like rule of thumb is going to be that we only add divisions that we plan to use. Unless we plan to use those divisions, we don't really need them. So this is, let's say, now the curvature that we're satisfied with. And with this curvature comes this level of, uh, topology which polygon is this size that means that every other polygon on the surface needs to be of the same size so now we know okay this is the division level that it's going to be enough for us same thing is going to be with this example right here um, unless we plan to use this topology we don't need this topology so we can also go let's say a step backwards 
However, if we, let's say, plan to do micro details where, let's say, this level of topology is not enough, then we would, let's say, subdivide it even further. And again, how do you know that the topology is not enough? Um, let's say that you are trying to make something that is extremely tiny, that you would need to add division like this to create that detail here. So just an example. And you notice that you're getting kind of like this weird shape on the top. And then what you're doing is also doing something like this, or you're even trying to kind of like redirect here, which of course you can. Uh, everything is going to be kind of like dependent on the result that you're creating. But just for the demonstration purpose, um, you know that you're going to create the small details. So it's always going to be kind of like that rule. Smaller the detail, then more topology you're going to need or denser the mesh is going to be. So in our case, let's say that now we would work on these kind of like uh, denser details or we're trying to establish here something on a curvature itself a corner that is or even better example is going to be if we kind of like push it here and we do something like this and we extrude it on the inside where we are trying to achieve sort of like uh, more of a tighter corner on a clean curvature and that is kind of like the reason why would we need to have more topology? Because if we would do it, let's say with the less topology, obviously we would get sort of like uh, pinching there on the sides, we would struggle with three direction and whatnot. But again, just following that rule, smaller the detail, uh, more topology we're gonna need or denser the topology. So basically it's like that. Uh, so again, just to summarize it real quick, we are either establishing the corner or we are establishing the curvature. If we are establishing the corner, we are just adding uh, loops manually. If we're establishing the curvature, we cannot add loops manually, we can only smooth it out. Same thing is going to work if, in this case, let's say we are maintaining this curvature, uh, we need more details, uh, we need, let's say, extremely tiny details, micro details, then we would kind of like smooth it out this way, uh, once, twice, doesn't matter, again, we add subdividing. Uh, as long as we are using the topology, if we're not using it, we don't need that level of divisions, maybe this is going to be enough but at the same time we are maintaining the corner so i hope that kind of like explain it explains it in a kind of like the basic basic form all right so continuing to something different where we actually uh, talked about this in a previous video where we talked about the importance of spore loops edge flow and we kind of like recreated the whole thing uh, so also what you notice maybe in that first video is what i did is i subdivided it right here so again uh, we have two options here so either we are going to kind of like the tighten up the corners where we want to maintain the corner and then we can add the topology manually where if we decide to do that you're going to notice that basically what we are doing is just going back to that initial structure and sort of like maintaining that structure from the beginning and if it's if that is something that we do not want and if we want to maintain the curvature then we're going to smooth it out uh, of course what we can do we can combine the two so let's say we want to maintain the corner and also maintain the curvature at the same time we can also do it like that as well so that is going to be kind of like the general guide on uh, when to use which and now the question is uh, how dense do we actually need to go so again i can show you a very quick example uh, we can let's say duplicate the two and let's say we subdivide this once and we subdivide this twice so let's say once but also just very important note here is that once you're working with subdivision go step by step and just double check if the topology that you have there is actually uh, keeping your mesh in check or keeping your mesh actually balanced that more or less you have uh, evenly organized topology because now what's happening if i go denser and denser you're going to see that i'm getting these rectangles instead of squares and this is something that we call unbalanced geometry so just make sure to remove everything you do not need everything you need stays and then you subdivide it further and this is kind of like that uh, progression through topology all right so now we have two levels of divisions and let's say i want to create a uh, panel break here and this is now a panel break on the first example where we have low level topology and the panel break itself is giving us extremely smooth corner uh, right here if we would do the same thing here down uh, result would be a little bit different. So we're now going to have a slightly sharper corner simply because we have a denser topology. So let me just switch here to uniform, select all of this, offset, uh, thickness, uh, delete all of this on the sides, and smooth preview this. So let's 
compare the two and there we go so the lower the division smoother the corner higher the division sharper the corner so now again comes that combination and constantly rotating those two rules uh, if let's say we do not need a sharp corner uh, we actually need a smooth corner we do not plan to add any more geometry besides this we do not plan to add any more detailing this is something that we would call finish this is just enough topology even though we can just come here and actually remove parts that we do not need and this is what we would call a finished uh, finished model uh, however if we would plan to do let's say even minor details i would not now struggle and add topology manually because what that will do you're going to see that it's actually destroying that curvature Sometimes maybe I want to do that, sometimes I don't, but you generally now see what's happening if I'm just adding loops manually. I'm just kind of like straightening the, the form, but also probably I'm destroying uh, the curvature in itself. So just maybe quickly to demonstrate, I can show you that too. Uh, what happens if we now add here a shiny material, you're going to see that now that curvature is slowly getting destroyed. So we no longer have that curvature that we have there. And yeah, so we kind of like combining uh, the two methods in, into one. But if you want to maintain the curvature, have more topology, in that case, what we would do, we would just smooth it out until we say, okay, this is enough for every single detail that I'm creating, and I don't need anything more than that. Uh, on this end, however, uh, we use the topology in our advances to create this sort of like sharper corner, and the same thing unless we do not plan to use more topology this is going to be more than enough if we plan to use more topology then we can add it simply this way like also shown in the example above so basically again this is just a presentation or a small breakdown between the two and you will just constantly rotate between the two uh, so again just to quickly summarize it at the very end we are either going to maintain the corner or we're going to maintain the curvature and the density is going to be dependent on the details or the development of the object that we are creating. In general rule regarding the density is going to be that we add density only to the levels that we plan to use. Unless we plan to use it, we don't need it. So we can also stay in the lower, lower levels as well. Uh, so yeah, and finally, if you have any other questions, like always, feel free to ask anything in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you next time.